Hello everyone, my name is Whistler and welcome back to another episode of my hardcore series. Today I would like to do some landscaping for the bee farm, and I'd also like to sort out the iron golem problem behind me, because uh, I'm going to punch one of these guys at some point and they're going to kill me. So I, I should probably like just sort of fill in this, this pond first, shouldn't I? I? I don't want anything getting in here or out. You know, you just got to eliminate that possibility. And I'll need to fill in these corners too, so that the iron doesn't spring out into random places. I'd quite like the iron to float up to the surface when I'm done with killing them. As to how I'd kill them, I'd probably use falling sand. I'm going to fill the entire pond with falling sand. And they're going to suffocate, and I'm going to get iron, and these iron golems are going to get go. Pleasant thoughts, I know. And I also need to shear these sheep a lot, because... <laughs> I want a lot of the, the, the light grey wool, because it looks like stone, and the brown wool looks like dirt, and the, the green wool looks like grass, it's great. I, I need I need more wool, I need a sheep farm, really. A better one than this. Just stick that in there. Now, one thing I would also like to do is uh, make a cleric villager. So for that I'm going to need a brewing stand, I'm going to need a blaze rod for the for, to craft that, and some blaze powder too. because. I happen to know that clerics sell glowstone, and I need that for the for the build. It's going to do some do for some hidden light sources. Always a good thing. Get to hide those ugly torches, ugly torch spam. I think I'm going to have the cleric stand around here. I think here's a good spot, and I'd actually quite like to decorate it just a little bit. I'm, it's probably just going to be temporary before I move into a, a better spot. I might even have a a proper cleric trading room just because they sell glowstone. But yeah, that'll do for now, I think. Now I just need to go get my villager. Just take up these rails for that. It's easy enough to do. And get this minecart out and send it off. There we go. Villager first try. Excellent. You're going to be here for a while, dude. He also will send, sell me ender pearls, I hope. So I might even look into trying to go to a stronghold at the end of this episode. I'm sure some of you have been wanting me to do that for a very long time. But to level him up, I'm first going to have to buy some redstone from him, because I don't have enough rotten flesh to level him up. Now what's his next trade? Uh, I'd, I'd quite like to put something here to stop baby zombies from getting in, but uh, it's a bit fat really. I, ne I need a trapdoor, but I don't think I have any down here, so off to the surface I go, because I need a trapdoor. Is it in here? No. Is there one in here? Yes! Um, I can't quite remember what kind of trapdoor I used down there, so... I think I'm going to get to both, because I'd quite like it to be the same as what I have in the, the Sweetberry Trading Hall. Now, let's let's just see which trapdoors I have used over here. Okay, I've used the, the dark chocolate ones, the the, the dark oak trapdoors. Okay, that's, that's pretty good. I'll just stick that there then, and no baby zombie will ever be able to kill this guy. And uh, I should probably buy this lapis and level them up a bit more, because uh, I, I do need more glowstone. I don't have enough. Just quickly get some more emeralds for that. And let's buy some lapis. That should be enough to level him. I think if you buy the entire stock, they tend to level up. Yes, the that's glowstone. Four emeralds is a bit expensive, but uh, it, it'll have to do for now. I'll, I'll cure this guy later, I think, probably. And then he's going to level up, and he's... There's the enderpearl trade. Okay, you know what? I, I think I might get one of those. Like, now, I, I need an ender chest. <laughs> I've needed an ender, ender chest for ages. Yeah, that, that's, that's going to be something I want. I'd, I'd best go get some more emeralds then. And I've gotten some more emeralds. I've got to get myself some more ender pearls. Yes, all of those. And he's he's leveled up from that too. Why has the glowstone price gone up? I've only traded with him once and he's jacked the prices up. What, a, what an annoying person. But yeah, I need... A blaze powder for the for the ender pearls, for the for, for the eyes of ender. So better do that. That's one. What was the recipe for an ender chest? It's just obsidian. Okay, I was wondering if there was a chest in there that I needed to craft. But um, where, where's the best place for that? I guess from the bottom of the ravine would be a, a good place. I I did I did put all pour water over a lot of this. So uh, I'd best just uh, gather some of this up. Sit down here, Piper. I don't want you falling in lava because I dug out a block beneath you and you pathfinded into it or something like that. But yeah, let's take, let's mine this obsidian. And this this water source is actually annoying me, so gotta block that off. Don't want that. It's 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 annoying the heck out of me. Oh, it's so high. 
There we go. Okay. And that should be more than enough obsidian. 19? It's... <laughs> that's enough for two ender chests if I want, but um, I I'll, I'll, I've just gotten some for the future. But yeah, that's an ender chest. That that's, that's pretty good. Let's put the obsidian in there. But yeah, now I can stick some stuff into this chest and I I'll be able to do all sorts of stuff with that. Um, I should probably start making more eyes of ender though, if I want to go to the stronghold in this episode at some point. But for example, I'll put the bed in there, the boat, I'll put the boat in there, I'll put one crafting table in there I think, and then the eyes of ender too, and the shears, and <laughs> a lot of the, the pork chops. Now please give me more ender pearls! That's only enough for four. Aww. But yeah, that, that's that's seven more ender, eyes of ender, so I'll just put those in there. Now, I quite like 14 Eyes of Ender, I think. I think that's a good number for me to find the stronghold and fill out the portal. Why is there a zombie inside my Sweetberry system? How, how did he get there? Can he spawn in there? I don't think he could, because the, do they spawn in signs? That's not a good place, dude. I've got to, I've got to kill him. He, he, I think he's picked up a Sweetberry. He's made permanent. Go away. You're not meant to be here. <laughs> oh, let's fill that in. Give me more Ender Pearls! And I'll just turn those into Eyes of Ender too. And I think that should be th 13 Eyes of Ender. So I think I'd like one more. And then I'd also like some Ender Pearls for my own usage. So I I've, I've gotten five more Emeralds. So that's one more Ender Pearl. So that's one more Eye of Ender. And then that, that should be done with the Eyes of Ender. And then it's just, en it's just Ender Pearls from then on. Now, one thing I know I need to do is I need to kill these iron golems, like I said at the start. So, uh, to do that, I'm going to use falling sand, which means I need a lot of signs, and I need a lot of sand too. So for that, I'll probably use dark oak, I guess, because I've got a lot of those logs. Right, so that's a lot of signs. There's probably way too many signs, actually. Uh, well, that, that's, that's just something I'm going to have to deal with. Right, so a lot of sand. That should be enough. And now to start filling out these holes, I guess. Probably sit down the dog and the cat first, so I don't want them falling in this hole and suffocating when I drop sand on them. But yeah, let's fill out this hole and kill these golems. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm almost done. I can't really place more into the corners like that, so let's get started with the signs. Um, it's, it's not that difficult. Just put one there, put another one there, and then you can build more signs off of each other. And if you break the one source sign at the start, then they all break and you can put sand on top of all of them so that when you break the signs, by breaking that one sign all of the sand falls and the iron golems will suffocate so uh, to kill them all I think I'm gonna need uh, four layers I think right and uh, yeah I guess I should uh, I should commit the crime <laughs> I, I hope they don't get angry at me because I, I dropped sand on them it'd be horrible if they yeeted me just because I was standing on top of the sand while they suffocated but yes um, let's go. Oh, it's working. It's working. It's a lot of di dying iron golems. This is taking a lot longer than I thought it would. How much health does an iron golem have? Right, there we go. I I've been stood there for like 40 seconds or something like that. It was ages. <laughs> I was struggling to think of things to say. It just ran on. But yeah, I've, I've got 15 iron ingots. And it's time for me to kill these other ones. So for that, I'm going to need to dig up the rest of this sand and reuse it over there, in the other pond. And I've built up the sand pile again, and it's time to go, Iron Golems. Goodbye. Ah, I love the sound of crafting iron. Ah, there we go. That took a lot longer as well. <laughs> It's, it's like 40 seconds or something for each one. It's, it's ages. Jeez. But yeah, I, I should probably dig this up again. I'm, I'm glad I've sorted out the Iron Golem problem, because I seriously was going to punch one of them at some stage. If I want to level my stuff a bit, then I can always take off my armor while I trade with these guys. This guy has jacked up the price of his sweet berries a lot. Why is it 17 berries? I mean, it doesn't matter because I get so many, but come on, dude. I need to cure these guys. That's, uh, it's basically a necessity, I think. I, just, I can buy more of those ender pearls. Awesome. And I should probably get some of that glowstone too. That's actually why I've got this guy. Uh, now then. I have a lot of resources here. I've got some glowstone. I don't know if it's enough. Not enough for the entire project, I don't think. But it's enough for this one small space. Right. So uh, I want to build like a path going around this uh, this building. 
and I'd also like to build sort of like a cliff edge on the other side of it and I think that's going to look pretty cool. Um, I don't know if that jungle tree is in the way, I'll see how it goes. But um, yeah, I think it's going to turn out pretty well and I think I'm going to do a time lapse of that thing. So uh, I, hope, I hope you enjoy, it's going to be a cool landscaping project. I've never actually done a landscaping project before, this is going to be a first and we'll see how it goes. I hope you guys enjoy. And welcome back everyone. I hope you enjoyed that time lapse. I, I did. I think it turned out really well, this, this landscape and project. I, I really like how it turned out. I, 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 I hope you guys agree with me, but I'm, this is the first time I've actually done some landscaping in any of my worlds, like some proper landscaping. And I, it's, just, it's really nice to look at, is what I think. Oh, it's not completely done. I think I'm going to replace some of the jungle logs with the a couple uh, of coarse dirts and I'll put some grassland there and I think that will give me a better gradient for what I would like. But not all of them, it's just going to be a bit patchy. I've been interrupted by this this wandering trader apparently. <laughs> what a silly person. But yeah, I think it's time for me to announce the project that I have in mind. It's a bit of a mega project. 
You see this light behind me? And how bland and boring it is? Well, my project is going to be to transform the entire thing. Because, uh, it doesn't look very good at the moment. And I have to look at this thing every day. So, what I would have in mind is I'm going to terraform or landscape the entire thing. I'm going to replace the the bottom of this lake with a, something that looks a bit better than just patches of gravel and sand and clay. And y you know what? This, this guy's annoying me. I'm going to have to trade with him. Ooh, not slush shells. I need those. Wait, give me emeralds before he disappears. Right, okay, is he still here? Is he still here? I need those Nautilus shells for a conduit. He is still here. Excellent. Right, give me them. Give me them. Thank you very much. Thank you for your services. You know what? I will take that brain coral. It saves me from having to go all the way to that coral biome. Well, for eight coral blocks anyway. But yeah, your services are done. Thank you very much, sir. It's time for you to die. But yeah, so I would like to transform the entire lake. So it's going to have farms surrounding the entire thing. I think the first one I'm going to make is probably going to be a wool farm because I, I need the carpet. I think I'm going to build that on the, the giant platform I built over there. But one thing I'm going to do is I'm also going to build a creeper farm in the middle of this lake and it's going to be built inside of a tree. And I think that's going to look really, really cool. And I hope I hope you guys all agree. In fact, this, this lake, once I'm done with it, is hopefully going to look pretty beautiful. But yeah, it's all going to be custom blocks. Well, most of it's going to be custom blocks. I'm still going to use dirt in some places. Sand might be used in a couple of places, but it's, it's going to be toned down by quite a lot. The clay and the gravel can go away. It's all going to be looking nice. Going to put some plant life in there, some fish, because lakes do have that in real life, but they don't in Minecraft for some reason. And I guess I, I'm, I'm wanting to do this because I, I look at this lake every day and it's bland and it's boring and I... I just want it to look nice, but it doesn't. But yeah, I, I hope you guys like the idea that I have in mind. I think it's going to turn out really well. Just to surround this entire thing with something that looks nice. I think I'm, I might even bring turtles in. <laughs> Late turtles, if that's a thing. Perhaps some river dolphins or something like that too. I think it'd be cool to have a pet dolphin. But yeah, I guess uh, it's time for me to go on the stronghold journey. So I have I have the eyes of Ender. I have 14 of them, as you can see here. So I think that's enough to find the stronghold. I basically just need to fire one off and travel like 1,500 blocks or so, I think. I think that's, that's what I usually do anyway. And I think I'm also going to bring some of this coarse dirt for the, for the dragon fight. We use them to pillar up in the... On the obsidian end pillars, so that I can destroy the crystals. I'm also going to need some gold because um, I want golden apples. But they'll be very good in a pinch, and I've not had any in this series so far, and they'll help me help me stay alive. I'll just craft those golden apples up quick. I've only been able to craft four. That's not very many. Oh, I'm going to need to make a lot more, especially considering I'm going to have to cure villagers. But I'm going to grab all of those arrows because I, th I feel like I'll probably run out because I didn't go for the infinity bow. I went for mending because I don't like having to make new tools all the time. And who cares about the arrows, really? I, I've, I've got, a, got a good supply of them anyway. You get so many, and if you have an infinity bow, you don't really have a use for them. I like making use of things. Yeah, I'm also going to make some potions. I'm thinking of uh, potions of strength and potions of uh, slow falling at the moment. Got a potion of fire resistance there, but I don't think it's going to be useful. And I think to make a potion of slow falling, you need nether wart, a phantom membrane, and redstone to extend it. I'll also need some glass bottles, so I'll just make those. And for the potions of strength, you need nether wart blaze powder, I think, and uh, redstone to extend it. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna do that job, I think. And I guess I'll quickly fill up all these water bottles, and I'll get get on with this. Let's go. And there we go. I've got six potions of slow falling and three potions of strength. I think that will do for the, the Ender Dragon fight. I don't need anything else than that. And uh, I guess on that note, it's probably time for me to go. I don't know what else I would need. I'll just put some of this stuff away and we'll get going. I, d I think I'm also going to need uh, a lot of coal and uh, a stack of logs, I think, just so that I can light up all the stronghold hallways. And yeah, I guess it's just uh, time for me to throw these eyes of Ender and find out where they go. So uh, on that note, Let's give this a whirl. Hang on, it's 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 not working. Why isn't it working? You do just right click it, right? Oh no! I think I just sent off like five of them. Please don't break. Oh, oh, oh! I didn't want that to happen. Oh, 
12 might not even be enough. I know the stronghold is in that direction now though, but I think I want... I'm going to have to make some more Eyes of Ender because uh, I don't want to get there and have to make some more. So I'll just buy some more Eyes of Ender. That should be enough. Well, more Ender Pearls. And I'll just craft those into Eyes of Ender. Real quick. And it's time for us to go on the adventure. Come on, Piper. Come on, Sapersalot. Let's do this thing. Now, I hope I survive this. I think I'm I'm only going to do the Stronghold this episode. The Ender Dragon can be the next episode. I don't think I have time for that. But yeah, let's go on this adventure. Because this is, hopefully, just going to be the beginning of this world. I know I've only had... I know I've already had, like, 11 episodes or so, but this, this is going to be the start of the series properly. Now, I've just found myself in this dark oak forest, and it, it's really dark. I, I'm always a bit scared of these things, because I, I feel like there's going to be a creeper around every corner, but I can't, I can't quite tell. I'm just going to have to sprint through this entire thing. I can hear a zombie villager over there somewhere. I don't know if he's in the cave or on the surface. I assume mobs can spawn in these root forests. It's really dark. I don't like it one bit. Oh yes, a swamp! Oh, <laughs> this is the first swamp I've found in this world. Uh, I'm really happy I found one of these. <laughs> um, I think... Well, I, I, I hope it's got a, a witch hut. I think that would be cool if it's got a witch hut. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm happy about that. Now then, where, where's this Eye of Ender going to go to? Let's fire that off that way. Okay, I'm still a bit short. I'll continue in that direction then. Oh, I think that's going to point into the ocean. Okay, like, do I have a underwater stronghold? That would be really cool if I did. <laughs> in fact, I'd, I'd love to have that. It's going to be so easy to get in and out of, I, I hope, anyway. So, just check that again, just to make sure, because I don't want to... I don't want to have to swim out to the ocean just pointlessly. So, uh, let, let's let's fire off another one of these Eyes of Ender. I can't see something that would be a stronghold just yet, so let's just let this go. Yep, that, that's pointing towards the ocean. <laughs> okay, well, I'm, I'm very happy about that. Very happy indeed. Now, unfortunately, the fact that it's underwater means that... Is, is that is that a torch? I think that's a torch. I think that's that's the stronghold right there, I think. Okay, that's very cool. That, that confirms it. I've got a underwater stronghold that I can access really easily without having to go caving or anything like that. I'm really happy about that. That's very cool. Yeah, unfortunately, that means that I'm going to have to sit Piper and Sir Purs a lot down here because they can't, they can't swim down to that, unfortunately. So I'm sorry, guys. It's the end of the road for you. Oh no! <laughs> I'm sorry, Piper. I can't, I can't bring you. <laughs> I know you love me, but it's, it's, it's just not going to be able to happen. I'm sorry. Stay here. I'll come back for you. I promise. But now. Let's go. I've got everything I need. Oh, this times like this is when you need Depth Strider, I guess. <laughs> I'm gonna have to work on that next episode, I think. But yeah, there it is. I don't like how it's easier to see things from the surface than actually in the water. Everything in the water is just so dark. But yeah, here's the stronghold. That, that's that's pretty cool. That, that, that's actually really cool that it's just on the surface like that. Hello, drowned. I'm already being assaulted. I've not even gotten inside. <laughs> right, okay. I don't know what this room is like, so I'm just going to have to very quickly run in and light the place up. So let's let's do that real quick. I spy. Excellent. So I think I think this is a uh, I think this room's pretty safe actually. Yeah, so that's that's the entrance to the stronghold right there. Okay. Um right. Well, I'm here. I think I'd, li I'd like to mine some more coal first, because I, I don't know how the inside of this thing's going to be like. There could be a lot of mobs in here, especially given that the caves for the where they would be usually aren't there, because there's an ocean there. So surely there's more mobs underground. Or at least that's my theory, anyway. So, I'm just going to grab one of these potions of strength, just to make it a bit easier on myself. I don't think I'll have both of them. And, oh! Oh, I didn't mean to do that. 
Oh, that, that, that is a that is a very bad habit of mine. I switched a fortune pick to mine coal or something. And then I destroy the ender chest. I do it all the time in my other world. Oh, at least, at least I've got a spare Eyes of Ender. But yeah, I think it's time for me to go into this thing. Let's see how this goes. I think the coast is mostly clear. Should drink this potion of strength. Just get rid of that. And, well, there's a zombie. Hello. You will be the first casualty of this place. Die. Thank you very much. Right, okay, we're in. Okay, it's, uh, there's nothing else in here. I should I should light up everything as I go, I think. Um, which way should I go first? Uh, I, I, I guess we should... Uh, I want to eliminate, like, these random tunnels. I, I don't think there's anything in here. But I just want to confirm that. Lighting up everything, because I, I'm not really quite sure of how far torches go in terms of brightness. Um, this this seems to go further down, I guess. Let's see what this does. Yeah, this this is a uh, this is locking like oh the <laughs> zombie doors. Zombies breaking doors, honestly, is the most horrifying sound in this game. It, it gives me a jump scare every time I hear it. <laughs> uh, there's there's nothing down here though, is there? Right, okay. Well, I'll just light this up. And make my way back up again. I think I just heard a silverfish. No matter, I'll, I'll find I'll find out where where he was. If if that if that means the end portal is near, then uh, then that's very cool. Can I can I hear it again? I I I can't hear it from here. No. You know, I I'll, I'll just find it properly. Right, okay, what's down here? Uh, uh, oh, oh, okay, there's, there's, <laughs> there's nothing down here. This is a, this is, that's an underwater cave, okay. And yeah, I'll just light these up. Right, okay, so we're back up here. Um, I guess it's, we should go up this and just light it up very quickly. Oh, that, that's, that's more ocean access, I guess. Very cool. Right, so I guess we're gonna have to, let's just save this door from the zombies. <laughs> Hello guys. Uh, yeah, we'll go down here next. Okay. Oh, baby zombies. No, you won't have me. Oh, <laughs> why are there so many baby zombies? Uh, you, you die too, chicken. You you, you belong to, to them. Uh, but yeah, let's. Uh, but this is just got ambushed by baby zombies. Go away, zombie. Right. Okay. Oh, there's a chest there. Um, Anything in there? No, nothing cool. Okay, that's that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Um, oh, hang on. <gasps> that was so easy to find. <laughs> it was right there. <laughs> I, I need to block this off. Uh, <laughs> I didn't think I was going to find this so quickly. That really was close. Look, look, go, go away, silverfish. No, go away. No one likes you. You don't even give any drops or anything like that. I'd quite like for them to update Silverfish at some point so that they do drop something, because at the moment it's just sort of pointless them being there. They're not like a massive, massive threat. Unless they've spawned in their millions and they've destroyed the entire stronghold and sending into a lava bit or something like that. But yeah, I'd, I'd quite like for them to have more of a purpose in this game, I think. But yeah, I'm really glad that I found the the end, the end portal already. That that was very quick. And you know what? This I'll just I'll just light this place up, and uh, I'll remove this lava because it's 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 makes making me anxious a little bit. I, I don't want to be sent into lava at some stage because of a silverfish or something like that. So I'll just light those up. And I'll pour water in all of these. Oh, I've accidentally flooded the room. That's not good. But yeah, let, let's... I don't want to go through the portal just yet. I think what I'd like to do first... Right, it's only, it's only got one, one Eye of Ender so far, so I've got 14. That's, that's more than enough. 
But yeah, what I'd like to do first is I'd like to uh, explore the rest of this stronghold because I, I quite like to find some libraries and just see what else this thing has to offer. I mean, if I'm not going to do it now, then I'm not really ever going to do it. But yeah, let's go. Right, okay, so this is another corridor. This usually has some stuff in it. I think that's the room which has a chest above it. But I think it's also full of mobs. Uh, I think I just killed a bat. It's the bat's fault for getting in the way, though. Oi, come around the corner, zombie. Don't just stand there. There's actually quite a few noises. A lot of groaning in this room, isn't there? Just one shot all of them with this bow. This bow is really strong, but it, it could be even stronger. It's not even power 5, I don't think. I think it's power 4. But yeah, I'll grab that ender pearl, because I may as well. And there's that creeper there. I'm very wary of that, because I can't really see it through the corners. Right, okay, I think I think that's done. Uh, yeah, that's this room safe. Um, let's see what else is in here. Oh, that's a library! <laughs> Even that's really close. I, I just, these things are usually such a maze just to find the things you want, but they're, they're really easy. <laughs> <laughs> Let's check out this library. Um, make sure this is lit up. Let's get rid of these cobwebs. So I think they're going to trap me or something like that. Um, so there's the ladder. I'll go up there first, and then I can find out where the chest is up from up there. Hi, zombie. You can die. Right, okay. Just light this up. And with this is a chest. What's it got? Protection 3 and Unbreaking 3? That's very cool. Efficiency 4, piercing 3, efficiency 4. These are very cool books. Okay, I'll take those. Uh, and I'll put them in there. Okay, now, is there another chest? There should be another one. Um, yeah, there it is. Okay. Uh, let, let's let's go. It's on the other side of the room. There it is. Um, what, what have we got? Two books, power 4, efficiency 4, quick charge 1. Okay, that, that, that's cool. I can take that. Now, what's in here? This is... <laughs> I've just found another library. <laughs> uh, hello, Creeper. Uh, I, I can't quite kill you from there. I'll light up that room so that you despawn and you can't spawn back again. Haha! <laughs> but yeah, I'll, uh, I'll just light up this area before I go in that library. So uh, I don't want to be ambushed in any way. I think we're fine though, really. You know what, I'm just, I'm just going to explore most of this stronghold before I go in there. Oh, this place is looking a bit scuffed. It's all sorts of random bits of holes. There's a cave here. <laughs> um, yeah, there's, there's holes in the roof for creepers to drop down and kill you, and there's lava pits. And yeah, I I think I'm I'm good really. But go away, go away, baby zombie. No one likes you. There's a, there's a couple of ores here that I'd like though. Go away, creeper. Oh. Okay, right. Um, oh, there's another baby zombie there. It doesn't see me for some reason. So what was going on there? But yeah, I'll take this gold because I, I always need more of that. Go away, zombie! Into the lava pit. Oh, I missed. Okay. Well, I think it's probably... <laughs> there's so many. What? Are they social spawning? They have to be social spawning. <laughs> They're just coming around, just, all just walking around the corner. Just checking around me for a, mobs in other directions I can't see. Right, okay. I think that was all of them. But yeah, let's do this library. I think it's safe, I don't think there's anything in here. There's no upstairs in this one, unfortunately. It's the one floor of books. Where's the chest? There's the chest, okay. What have we got? Sweeping Edge 3. Uh, I'll, <laughs> I'll take it, I mean. I, I, I do need more swords, like I need a smite sword and I need a bane of arthropod sword, just so that I'm prepared. Uh, but yeah, I think the only thing that's left is to find out what's in this chest up here, because I've mostly explored this stronghold. Most of it's done. It's, it's, it was quite an easy stronghold to be honest, but what's in here? Okay, uh, <laughs> yeah, I'll take that book. I, I, I was hoping to get a notch apple in one of these chests, but I'm, I appear to have been denied again, unfortunately. But yeah, I've explored most of this stronghold. So uh, let's go back to the end portal room. You know what? I'm gonna make a proper entrance to this uh, this room. I'm not quite happy with how it's so open. So I'll remove these iron bars and I'll I'll place them 
replace them with uh, some of these other blocks. But yeah, that, that's that's the stronghold done. I hope you guys enjoyed that that little raid. Um, next episode, I'll be jumping through this portal, and I'll be going to the end to fight the Ender Dragon. It might be dangerous. Well, it is dangerous. It's the, it's the boss. It's the final boss of the game. The Wither is another boss, but it's not really the end. It's not really the end game boss, is it? It's just a it's just a boss that you have to do optionally. But yeah, I guess it's time for me to fill out this portal. One, two. I love the sound these things do. It's like that little low ding, very ominous. And then this is the best one. Oh. Oh, I love this sound. But yeah, on that note, I'm gonna have to make this the end of the episode. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed, and if you did enjoy, I hope you return. If you do return, then I uh, I guess I'll see you next time. So uh, on that note, bye. Oh, <laughs> no, 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 you're not pushing me in. <laughs> I've just had my outro uh, interrupted by a silverfish. <laughs> oh dear. Right, okay. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching.